Alright everyone and welcome back, or welcome if you are new here. We are starting things off with a bit of a confrontation backstage and holy cow. We've got a fight breaking out backstage between Tyler Bate and Roderick Strong. These two have not been getting along whatsoever these past few weeks here on the channel, on Raw, on Universe Mode. Both teams, the Undisputed Era and Mustache Mountain, have not been getting along whatsoever. And it stemmed from these two just beating the crap out of each other. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of develops from this point. But, if you are new here, welcome aboard. I'm Christina, aka That Variety Nerd. And we're into episode, where are we at? 14 of Universe Mode. So that's just how things are going around here. We're on episode number 14. we got SummerSlam coming up. We've got all kinds of good action coming up here tonight, including... A next round, our next first round matchup in our women's tag team championship tournament. So that'll be all exciting and well. But for right now, we've got a bit of a brawl backstage between Tyler Bate and Roderick Strong. I don't think this is. It, it, this whole situation just cannot end well, <laughs> to say the least. Tyler Bate's just trying to drag him around the locker room. I don't know what's all going to go down, but it can't be good. They're just they're just beating the crap out of each other. It looks like Andrade's in the corner. As we saw not too long ago on the channel, he just lost his own championship as well. Why are we going inside the locker room? Why are the I think Brooklyn just kind of just infiltrated all the tech technology. Why is Triple H here? I'm so confused as to what's going on in here. This this whole situation has gotten un it's gone out of control, to say the least. But everything is fine. Looks like Tyler Bates made his way to the locker room. Apparently Triple H just chilling backstage tonight. Want to make sure that the show is running okay, from what I'm understanding. Roderick Strong. Oh, God. Sending Tyler B right into the... Oh, God. Just right into the locker room shelving spaces. I don't know how what else to call them. Storage spaces? Shelving stations? I don't know what else to call it. But Strong going for here? Oh, Okay, my back hurts just looking at that. Oh, God! He just, like, kicked the chair. Oh, no. Oh, right onto the ground. Right onto the ground. This has been wild, people. This has been wild. I think he might be going for it here. We've kicked things off with Tyler Bate. Roderick Strong brawling it out backstage. Tyler Bate getting the upper hand after Roderick Strong attacked him after his match. So, getting a little bit of revenge here. What's next between the two teams? I don't know. It's going to be quite interesting to see how this rivalry kind of unfolds. But we've got act we've got matches and we got some action go coming up just for y'all. So let's just get right to the in ring action. All right, here we go, everyone. We are kicking things off with the Raw Women's Championship being defended once again here on Raw. These two have been fighting for weeks and weeks and weeks, so hopefully we get a little bit of finality coming up here between these two women here tonight. We've got Ember Moon challenging Mandy Rose. Again, Ember Moon did defeat Mandy Rose at Money in the Bank for the title in the first place, and then... Mandy Rose won the championship back a couple of episodes ago here on the channel. And so another rematch is in order. But we've got some updates as it relates to our backstage brawl for the main event. We will see, well, the managers that were involved in said match a couple of episodes ago here on the channel. Or not too long ago here on the channel, I should say. We will see Adam Cole take on Mr. Money in the Bank Trent Seven in action in our main event here tonight. We're kicking things off with a title match, people. We've got a championship matchup about to kick things off here on Raw. I'm excited as can be. We're going to see who pulls out with the win here tonight so far in their little series. Mandy Rose is up 2-1. to one. And speaking of Mandy Rose, 
the champion is about to grace us with her presence. There she is, Raw Women's Champion Mandy Rose. I think if you look at the roster and, you know, try to pull out, like, who would be the Women's Champion by this point, I don't know if Mandy Rose would have been on the top of that list. But she's here as the champion, our first two-time champion, might I add. So that's a first here on the channel as well. <laughs> We're going to see if Mandy Rose can pull off another huge win here tonight and retain against Ember Moon. Or will these two just continue to feud and fight and just, you know, toss the title back and forth to each other like a hot potato? Well, we're going to find all that out and more here tonight as we continue our path to SummerSlam. That is right, we are not too far away from SummerSlam. I think we're about five episodes out, so we're going to have all kinds of announcements coming up in the upcoming episodes and things developing and that sort of thing. Got a bunch of matchups set so far. It's going to be more interesting once we find out who our Raw Women's Champion will be after this matchup. And the referee's rung the bell, and the match is getting underway here. Ember Moon, huge slam to kick things off here. Trying to get on that offense right away. That is a very wise strategy, just in general. Ember Moon taking control early on. Huge takedown from Moon. Mandy Rose back on the offense here. Ember Moon trying to get out of the hold. I want a huge drop kick to the champion, the challenger, not backing down that easily, to say the least. But these two have had, like, a feud for, like, quite some time. And it's the feud that I don't know if any of us expected, but I'm here for it. Huge move right there from Rose onto Moon. Huge elbow right to the face. Ember Moon, huge move right there. Transitions into the submission. Could this be it? Will Ember Moon regain her championship? Mandy Rose just battling out of it. It's Mandy Rose up to here. Oh, and a huge neckbreaker right from the champ. Mandy Rose going in for the cover. And Ember Moon pretty much immediately kicking right out. So I'd be quite interested to see who walks out of this matchup with the championship. It's really anybody's ballpark. So tonight's main event, once again, we got Trent Seven versus Adam Cole. However, Tyler Bate and Roderick Strong will be banned from ringside as a result of the insanity that we saw at the beginning of the show. Huge scoop slam, well power slam really, from <laughs> Mandy Rose onto Ember Moon. Again, we're not a professional. I've never trained inside of a ring before. We're doing our best. Either way around, Ember Moon, huge counter trying to get out of that corner right there. Huge chop to Mandy Rose. Rose with a huge kick to the knee. Oh, and a huge counter from Ember Moon. This has been pretty back and forth this entire time. I think Ember Moon's trying to look for it once again. And she connects with the submission hold, hold once more. Mandy Rose escapes the hold. This has been a very even matchup from the very start here. Huge slap to the back of the head. What's Mandy Rose looking for here? Oh, and a huge knee right to Ember Moon. Might have been a boot, but it could have been a little combination of both. I'm not 100% sure. But Ember Moon back on the offense once again. Trying to get that momentum going. Mandy Rose wisely. Oh! And Ember Moon taking a risk, taking down the champion. Ember Moon's getting all that momentum that she can, and she's going to need it. However, champion's advantage is at play right here in this matchup. Which means Ember Moon must pin or submit Mandy Rose inside the ring 
to win the matchup. Mandy Rose, interestingly enough, gets Ember Moon back inside the ring. Oh, but Ember Moon's going for something here. Oh, and a huge suplex right there from Mandy and from Ember from Ember Moon. Jesus, I was looking right at Mandy Rose, right as I was saying that. Holy, it has not been a fun time. Let's go for the ten count punches here. Oh, and Ember Moon connects with all ten. Mandy Rose countering. Going right for a series of punches right there. Mandy Rose looking to capitalize. Taking the action to the outside. Ember Moon bounces back up. Once again, trying to get that energy from the WWE Universe here tonight. Once again, we're back in London. We're here until SummerSlam because of arena issues and all that good stuff. Mandy Rose sending Ember Moon back inside the ring. Huge elbow right there. Oh, and Mandy Rose at the counter. Oh, and a huge slam right there from Ember Moon onto Mandy Rose. What's Ember Moon going for here? Oh no, I think she might be looking for it. She might be looking for it, people. I think she's going for it. Oh, and Ember Moon hits the eclipse right on Mandy Rose. Could this be it? And Ember Moon, once again, your Raw Women's Champion. What a match to kick things off here tonight on Raw. And people, we're just getting started. We already got one title change happen tonight. And we've got a whole card stacked from top to bottom. What a matchup that these two had. They're now tied two and two, so I'm sure it's only rational to go for a fifth and final match. But either way... Ember Moon regaining the title here tonight. Pick up a huge win here tonight. Congratulations, Ember Moon. And here we go, everyone. We've got ourselves another first round matchup in our Raw. Not a Raw. <laughs> I almost said Raw Women's Tag Team titles, but we are back. We've got Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament action coming at you right here. You're not seeing things incorrectly. Nikki Cross was allowed over here for this matchup. We've got ourselves an interesting matchup about to go down here tonight. Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss making their way over to the red brand for the time being. Again, tag team divisions are cross-branded, so just keep that in mind. And here comes your tag team partner, Little Miss Bliss, Alexa Bliss. Of course, Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss both belong on the blue brand, but tonight they have, you know, accepted the invitation to come on over to the red brand for just one night for this tournament. We saw in our last episode, Asuka and Kairi Zane, in what some might view as a bit of an upset, but also some might not see it as an upset. They lost against the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. So we're going to see how well these two fend off against their opponents here tonight. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh boy. We have the irresistible force here tonight on Raw once again. She is a SmackDown superstar that has accepted the invitation to have the first round matchups here on Raw. So, Nia Jax making her way down to the ring, but who will she team with? We're about to find out. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, man. Tamina is not necessarily assigned to a brand. She's technically a free agent, but it's interesting that Tamina... And Nia Jax are teaming up here tonight. 
This is going to be a very dangerous duo against Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, but I think Alexa and Nikki might be able to hang in there with these two in some shape or form. They should be able to just, you know, they'll be able to manage, I think. They'll be able to make things work. And, well, if they want to make it to the next round, they're going to have to make things work. But here we go. Nikki Cross starting things off for her team. Nia Jax starting off things for her team. We've got these two teams about to battle inside the ring. Oh, Nia Jax just throwing her, right? Just pushing her right over there. Showcasing that strength right in front of Alexa Bliss, former best friend. Got a little bit of history here kind of between these teams in a, in a little bit of a way. Primarily SmackDown stars, but again, these first round tournament, these matchups are going to be going down here on Raw, you know, somewhat in the vein that the tag team tournament did for the men's side of things. In the men's tag team championship picture, well, it's gotten interesting around here, but that's because um, we won't be able to see the titles until at least SummerSlam because that's just how SmackDown's running things, apparently. So it's going to make me wonder what happens if we get into a situation where both sets of tag titles are over on SmackDown, if it comes to that point. But hopefully that doesn't get to that point. Huge side rush and leg sweep from Nikki Cross. Wise decision right there, trying to get into the corner, but Alexa Bliss jumping down from the corner. We're already seeing a little bit of tension between those two teams right there. Nikki Cross just scoop slammed Nia Jax. I don't know if that's a phrase I thought I'd ever hear myself saying, but here we go. Nikki Cross getting some more offense in for her team. Tamina trying to will Nia Jax on. And Nia Jax with a huge headbutt onto Cross. Huge sidewalk slam right there. Nia Jax sending her to the corner. Nikki Cross at the counter. Getting out of the corner. Huge bulldog from Cross. And Cross tags in Alexa Bliss. Nia Jax tagging in Tamina. Tamina going right for Alexa Bliss here tonight. My apologies if it is getting somewhat sporadic with commentary. It is starting to feel like a toaster in here, but it's all good. Huge move right there from Alexa, I mean from Tamina again. I look at the wrong people as I'm calling things and I need to stop doing that. Huge diving leg drop from Tamina onto Alexa Bliss. Oh, and a huge counter from Alexa Bliss. Countering from Tamina. Oh, and a huge clothesline from Tamina. Definitely a strong showing from Nia Jax and Tamina very early on. Alexa Bliss getting out of that corner. Shoving the boot right into Tamina's face right there. As Tamina gets back up onto her feet. Side rush and leg sweep. Oh! Oh! Alexa Bliss is being crafty a little bit here. Huge elbow. Oh, huge counter from Tamina. Oh, and a huge backbreaker. Oh, God. Just holding it there for as long as she can. That is very sadistic. Oh, and Nia Jax taking advantage of the situation here. Trying to help out her partner any way that she can. Signs of a solid tag team partner right there. Alexa Bliss might be out, people. She might be out. Represent a four count. And Alexa Bliss gets back inside the match. Tamina gets to tag into Alexa Bliss. What are these two going to do? Oh! Just sending her right into the corner. Holy cow. A 
Alex and Bliss is going for it. Oh, and a huge sunset flip right there. Alex and Bliss getting out of that predicament. And gets to tag into Nikki Cross. On a huge counter. What's Nia Jax going for here? Oh god, and a huge front slam right there from Nia Jax. Oh, what a counter from Cross. And Nikki Cross not backing down for her, her team at, at all. Oh, and a huge elbow from Nia Jax. What's she going for here? Oh, and a huge slam right there. What is she doing? Holy cow, this does not look good for Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. This does not look good. Oh, and a huge bear hug right there from Nia Jax. She's going for here. That that might be it, people. That might be it. That might honestly be it. With that huge leg drop. That's taken it out of a number of people in the past. This might be it, people. But Nikki Cross wills her way back into this matchup, hanging on for her tag team partner and best friend. Alexa Bliss, what is Nia Jax going for here? Oh, God. And she hits the Samoan drop. Or Samoa, Samoan drop. There we go. Pretty positive that was it. I was thinking of, like, Samoa Joe for some reason. But here we go. Going in for the cover. That might be it. And Nia, Jax, and Tamina are making their way to round two. They will be taking on the Iconics in our semifinal and semifinals action. But what a matchup that we just saw. And what a dominant showing from Nia, Jax, and Tamina. Definitely a huge win for those two tonight. Uh, please just somebody go check in on Nikki Cross and, and just see if she's alright. But what a, what a victory for Tamina and Naya here tonight. Going on to the semifinals to take on the Iconics. What a matchup. And Shayna Baszler making her way out here tonight. As we saw a couple of episodes here on the go on here on the channel. Shayna Baszler coming in and attacking Paige after their matchup had ended with uh, with between Paige and Zelina Vega. And that was also that same episode where Andrade German suplexed a referee. So that's why we haven't seen him in a little while since all that went down and after he lost the championship to Apollo. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, fans viewing from around the world, it's time for all of you to shut your mouths and put your eyes on me. I'm the one with the microphone. The only one who matters right now, not any of you, so listen up. Life is full of surprises. People are especially good at appending your expectations. For example, there's a superstar in the back I thought I knew, but I'm out here tonight because she had to go and shake things up. Over and over, I go through the same thing. Superstars who think that they're big time or that they're going to become big by mixing it up with me. And over and over again, it always ends the same way. With that superstar being humbled and shamed by me in the ring two weeks ago, Paige, now it's your turn to be humbled. Step on up to learn your lesson. Shayna Baszler calling out Paige. But will Paige answer the call here tonight? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to see if Paige answers the call. If she comes out to the ring here. This is a matchup that I think we all want to see go down. Don't think that's going to be, you know, a lot to ask for. But here comes Paige. Paige making her way down to the ring to confront Shayna Baszler. Well, that's the kind of response a superstar like, some, like me loves to hear from the WWE Universe. Thanks. Now, I can tell you're confused and maybe a little upset that I'm interrupting you like this even though you did call me out. But I promise I'll understand why in a minute. So, just, just, just hear me out. And I'll hear you out. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me right now? I don't have time for you. What in the world made you think you're able to interrupt someone like me? Someone who's as great, beautiful, and talented as I am. 
I will interrupt every superstar I have to until I get what I want. I don't care who's in the ring ever. Everyone is a potential p opponent or obstacle. I've got a ladder to climb to success, and there's only one space at the top. This is so like you. Here I am in the middle of the ring, talking to these people who came out tonight to watch wrestling. You had to insert yourself where you weren't invited. You think this show is all about you, but it's not. There are other superstars in the company who want to stand out and show the world what they can do. And I say, let's do that. Let's do that at SummerSlam. I've been watching your shenanigans from the back for far too long. I came out here to change that. So I said I finally put you in a place by giving you a challenge. You and me are going to fight at SummerSlam, just like you mentioned. And I'm going to walk out with the win. The WWE Universe knows that when it comes to competing, I'm the best you're ever going to see. And frankly, I'm not sure if I should fight you in a match unless it's worth my while. Like, say, the next pay-per-view, which is SummerSlam. So I accept your little challenge for SummerSlam. Alright everyone, we've got Paige versus Shayna Baszler all set for SummerSlam. What a matchup that's going to be. Holy crap, I can't wait. Alright everyone, here we go. Main event time here tonight. That is correct. You're not seeing things wrong. The briefcase has officially been swapped over. And look at that Men's Money in the Bank briefcase in all of its glory here tonight. We've got Trent Seven, of course, Mr. Money in the Bank, against Adam Cole, their respective tag team partners, slash partners in general. I don't know. <laughs> Tyler Bain and Roderick Strong are banned from ringside. That probably came out way worse than what I was expecting, but you know what? This is what happens when I don't drink coffee for three days. Either way around. We've got ourselves this incredible main event. We already have a title change hands. The Money in the Bank briefcase is not on the line. However, some pride will be on the line here tonight. It's going to be quite interesting to see what he does with that briefcase. I'm really interested to see where the briefcases are going to go. You know what I mean? So, that briefcase is good for any universal championship opportunity at any given time. Here on the brand. These two teams have been kind of at each other's throats, to say the least. But it's going to be quite interesting to see how this kind of goes down. Now that their tag partners are banned from ringside as ordered by the general manager. So that's how, that's how we got to this point. Tyler Bate, of course, running into Roderick Strong earlier slash at the start of the show. Attacking Roderick Strong, just beating him down like it was nothing after Roderick Strong attacked Tyler Bate after his match. And so that's what went down. General Manager Christina Bennett made the decision to indeed not make a couple of announcements throughout the night. First announcement, Ember Moon and Mandy Rose will conclude their series at SummerSlam. And, of course, we have this main event here tonight between Trent Seven and Adam Cole, where both Tyler Bate and Roderick Strong are ban banned from ringside. So that's how we got to this point. So keep your eyes peeled down below in the description to see what SummerSlam matches are happening on the blue brand, which, you know, so far we only got two. But no matter what, we just want to know what's going down. Got a lot going on. Got some support for, Matt, for Adam Cole here tonight. We're floating chairs. <laughs> but here we go. We've got the lockup right here. Trent Seven getting on the and just getting in on that offense right away. On to Adam Cole. Referee trying to separate things, break things up. Oh, and Adam Cole just slapping him. Huge jawbreaker. Adam Cole trying to take advantage right here. Huge strike from Trent Seven. Oh, I don't know what just happened there, but that did not look comfortable whatsoever. Huge neck breaker from Cole. Kick to the back. Adam Cole on the offense right away here in this matchup. Going in for the cover. And Trent Seven powers out. The rate we're going at with recording stuff, I might as well just keep going all day at this point. It's only 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But either way, huge slap onto Adam Cole. Trent Seven on the offense right here, getting out of the ropes. I need to just slow down a little bit when I'm commentating. Maybe that'll help. 
I think that was the problem last year. Even then, I still botch everything. There's at least a couple of botches per episode. I'm, I'm cognizant of that. Oh, huge move right there. Just chopping down Adam Cole. It's going to be quite interesting. How fair is this matchup going to be? We're, we're, we're going to find out. Oh, and a huge kick to the back. Adam Cole back on the offense here tonight. The bad blood just continues to stew between these two teams. Just absolutely continues to stew. Adam Cole going in for the cover once again. And a huge kick out. Oh! Chopping down Adam Cole once again. What's Seven looking for here? Just driving the knee right to the back of the head right there. Yo, I'm sweating. There's no other way around. I am sweating, and I'm not just saying that because we're in the main event here. I'm terrified to see what's gonna go down. Adam Cole, the huge neck breaker. Is Adam Cole gonna go for here? Going in for the cover. And a kick out at one. But I'm sweating because it's been like 80 plus billion degrees here. So, I don't want to turn on my air because it's really loud. I probably could turn on my fan, but I won't do a whole lot, so... It's like a catch-22 almost. God, what's he going for here? Oh, and a huge power bomb. I think he even surprised himself there because he just like had to go backwards a little bit. Oh, and a huge counter right there from Adam Cole. Definitely been an interesting matchup to say the least. Oh, missing the super kick right there. Oh, and a huge pile driver right there from Trent Seven going in for that cover. Let's see if that's enough to put away Adam Cole. And it is not. See what we got here. What is Trent Seven looking for? I'm I'm getting a little concerned here. What is he going for? Okay, can the camera crew get it together? What is this man going for? Jesus! He just like took out Adam Cole right there. The crowd is chanting, "This is awesome!" And I have to agree with them there. Just going right at Adam Cole with the chops right there. These two just have so much bad blood between them and their two teams. Referee's at a four count. Adam Cole, huge shoulder breaker right there. Referee's at a five count, but I don't think these two care. Okay, well, Adam Cole apparently does since he brought him back inside the ring. I mean, that's fair. That is very fair. Trent Seven counters, sending Adam Cole right over the top rope. Oh, Adam Cole blocks the punch. This might be the opening that he needs. Oh, seven counters once again. Oh, and a huge super kick right there. Trent Seven's going to the top rope. I don't know how many times we see that from him. Oh, okay, well, he just went down. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know how many times we see that happen, but here we are. Oh, and a huge move right there. Oh my god, my voice, my accent is just like... Or my accents, plural, just going all over the place at this point. What is he looking for here? And a, a huge single leg Boston Crab connecting onto Adam Cole. Could this be it? Or will Adam Cole push through somehow? Adam Cole with the huge counter right there. This has been a great main event. Lots of twists and turns. Oh, and he blocks the last shot. Or what I think that's what he was going for. Like, I'm pretty positive that's it. If, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I know someone's going to yell at me. <laughs> well, it's not yelling. It's more like constructive criticism and feedback. What is he doing? Oh, no. Oh, and a huge superplex right to the middle of the mat right there from the top rope. These two are just battering each other. What's he going for here? Oh, and a huge suplex. 
What a move right there. Trent Seven going in for the cover. Could this be it? And Trent Seven picks up a win against Adam Cole here tonight. People, what a matchup that we just saw. These two brought it. Adam Cole was looking very strong early on in this matchup. But ever since I think it was that suicide dive, the tide began to change. Trent Seven did not give up and has beaten Adam Cole here tonight. Even with that huge shoulder breaker right there. And all the drama that went down outside the ring. But that just blocking the last shot really 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 made this decision a little bit more final there's your winner people trent seven picking up a huge win here tonight what a matchup that we just saw everyone what a matchup this has been one wild ride of an episode We've got some interesting developments kind of going onward and upward and we've got some breaking news as we close out this episode because both of these teams have wins and bad blood between the two of them. We will indeed see them compete in the SmackDown Raw men's tag team title picture. So what I mean by that is that there's going to be a fatal four-way tables, ladders, and chairs match to stew out all the bad blood and all the bad crap that's going on here. So, that being said, Mustache Mountain's added on to that, as is the Undisputed Era. Now, which two members are going to be representing Undisputed Era is beyond me, but I don't think this feud between these two teams is going to be over with any time soon. But that's what the general manager has declared. She needed two teams that needed to go into this tag team match at TLC. We don't know who the other tag team is on SmackDown, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. But either way around, thank you all so much for tuning in. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun, here. Do all that fun stuff here on the channel. Leave a like, like, comment, do all that good stuff here. Also, go ahead and follow me on social media, including Twitch. I try to stream at least a couple times a month at this point, but we're going to be probably streaming much more now that it's fall and it's been cool outside and all that good stuff. So on that happy note, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye everyone! <laughs>